Welcome to this vi video everyone and uh, today we're going to take a look at the weapon trigger of E100 and uh, what you need to know about this tank is that it is paper it has absolutely no armor uh, I believe even a T1 Cunningham or at least tractor will be able to pen this tank in a turret uh, but do not shoot the hole the hole is E100 so it will be retarded for you to shoot the hole aim always at this massive turret it's got and uh, this tank does have one major drawback is that you will get spotted a mile away literally a mile away as soon as they your tank is within the enemy's maximum spotting distance you will be spotted although you might have camel net bino doesn't matter you you will always get spotted first <laughs> it always happens like that I have a crew with four fourth perks already, so uh, uh, trust me, uh, it camouflage uh, anything like that doesn't work on this tank. This tank is supposed to be seen from a mile away, and this is one of the balancing features of this tank. Now, if this tank was was invisible, then obviously this thing would would be more powerful than it is now. It would be too powerful to be immediately game breaking. So, uh, what makes this tank brilliant is that. It, it's gun. The, this 128 millimeter gun is superior than the 150 it's got by far, and you 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 can so easily destroy tanks just by doing this. Check this out. We're one two two two. Come on, come on. Oh shit! Bounced and shit. He is gonna load on me, and I missed my shot. He shot my hole, but luckily we got back up from behind, and that was enough to finish the T1. T57 heavy, T57 heavy. No idea what he was doing in the start of the game, going that aggressively. Um, I did a few stupid mistakes here and there, uh, that costed me a bit more health than I would have otherwise wanted to have conserved. So you go for a minute-long reload, and before you used to have six rounds, now you only get five. And trust me, it is OPS hell if you had six. Um, there's just so many other more opportunities you could have done uh, in your t in your waffle if you had six. So yeah, RT focused on you all the time. Uh, situations like this, now you can see I am pretty screwed here. Not even close to being reloaded. Still like five seconds left. Can't stay around there long. Got to run away. Got to break contact. And the the waffle is no means easy to play. It is very easy for you to. To, to do the wrong thing and die, you know, it's, it's just one of those tanks, it's got the weakest penetration of all tier 10 tanks, uh, but still, it's not that bad, it's just that you can't shoot tanks right through the turret and stuff like that, but it's Yak Tiger, so it's not that bad, but still worse in all the t tier 10 TDs, and uh, yeah, this tank is devastating if you do load gold. Uh, the gold round will literally guarantee you to sweat through shit like butter but uh, again I don't recommend you to use gold because I think AP is enough if you know where to shoot um, but at this situation here I want to do my mission my mission is to I believe at the time to do uh, I think it was uh, how much damage was it was it 4k damage I think I had to do in this game um, not the most difficult thing to do actually um, I, I, well, in a waffle, it shouldn't be really hard. Uh, I don't play this tank often because I think it's totally imbalanced. Uh, and it isn't, it's those tanks where you could either get brilliant games or shit games or mediocre ones. You, you, there, there aren't any consistency. Uh, I, I wouldn't rely on this tank for me to pull the, to pull the stats and all that sort of things. Uh, there are times when it's extremely frustrating to play. When you just get shot at, you can't hide because of your size, and uh, you get killed. It's it's one of those tanks. It's either very good or mediocre. So what what you can do to destroy this thing is to go on the side. Now, if you were in a waffle, you would hate if like an object 140 or a T62A just scrapes you on the side and just literally kill you from the side. And uh, close range, of course. There's nothing for them to do. But as you can see, we killed the weapon trigger. I was Panda 4. And do I want to go for a reload is the question. Oh, I don't know. You can see I'm moving around thinking, well, if I'm the T62A, I would have gone for the waffle kill. So, 
how much health was the T62 on? I wouldn't be able to kill him in one clip, so that is quite sad. Uh, but never mind, we, we just have to wait. Can't afford to go for a minute long reload, and this is one of the things that kills this tank. Everybody pens you, uh, and look at this, look at this. <laughs> IS4 of course says that I'm firing gold, uh, which is right, I am firing gold. Uh, do feel sorry for him though, but again, there's no difference between me firing gold and moth. He said you don't need gold more, well, I know I don't need it, but I need to do my mission first. Can't lose my mission. <laughs> and I, I certainly don't recommend to fire any gold. So it seems like we won this game, right? But, well, not if the Lorraine plays like, like a monkey, as you're, going, as you're going to see. The Lorraine is going to make a mess out of this thing. Well, come on, Lorraine, at least ditch your, all your rounds into it. Well, at least it's buying me time for me to read up. But the the major problem is that I, I have only 250 health. Anyone can one-shot me at this stage. And I, I, I don't know where he, which way he's going to approach in a bit. Well, if I, I'm him, I would obviously go around the long way. But is he a player? with similar snaps to me. Mm, not quite, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It's all about predicting your enemies according to their stats. Uh, as you can see, the gun is pretty accurate once fully aimed. It is, after all, German. I'm, wait I'm waiting for him in this corner. And shit, he's here. He's shit. He, he is here. As you can see, how much trouble can he bring to me if he was to, to stay right on my side? But I did kill him, so I guess that that's a pretty good good finish anyway but uh, we're not gonna finish this one because it's toxic watching this T1 T1 1 U5 finishing this off what a disaster of a game I did 6k damage and um, 5 kills yet the, my team seems to still <laughs> be able to leave an IS-8 and E100 alive uh, was very high amount of health so I don't know what my team did uh, don't even think they existed some of them so as you can see what a sad game in the end but I did manage to do my mission and didn't complete it with honor but not that bothered at this rate I just want the mission to be done and uh, as you can see no matter what I do I do so you know what it hangs uh, just I, I need to take a break from it it's just annoying as hell if you if you play it and lose all the time no matter what you do it gets out of control sometimes so we'll see you next time then for the next round up of uh, weapon triggers or something else uh, depending on what I get what sort of games I get but probably not any game soon since uh, I got some important things to do, to do uh, recently so yeah uh, if you do see a weapon trigger go on its side scrape it it's, it's, it's got some shitty gun depression that uh, would be very difficult to hit you reliably and pen your turret so if you just wobble around on the side scrape them they're screwed absolutely screwed and fire HE at the the, the um, turret is funny as hell and uh, we'll see you next time then